viewers, Rectangular back, this time with another update on my custom Giant Man figure. Here on the left we have the Build-A-Figure from Toy Biz, and on the right is my custom, which is nearing completion. Still haven't painted the right side of his face, it would be your left, and the side of his mask, and I did, as you can see, I did sculpt the antenna and I also sculpted a wider belt for him to match the build a figure it's not really showing up that well on camera but the end of the buckle goes to the outside of the straps so I did that here with some epoxy sculpt but uh, most importantly I just wanted to show the progress on the antenna the holes were filled in with epoxy sculpt and then I used some twist ties and coated them with hot glue. Initially I had uh, tried making antenna out of just hot glue and it took me almost an entire glue stick to try to, to, to finally get a couple that I was happy with. Here's one and here's the other one but uh, you know they're nice because they're flexible but the unfortunate thing is is that you can't really get them posed just the way the uh, build a figure antenna are you know they're just not gonna they're not gonna it'd be very hard you'd spend a lot of time trying to get these uh, to cool in the right position so that they look like the build a figure so that's when I went with uh, actually not twist ties sorry I used uh, first I tried twist ties but it was too the the wire was too thick so the an antenna ended up being too thick so what I ended up using was floral wire you can see that green floral wire you know you can pick up at the dollar store and this is what it looks like coated I made uh, four that I was happy with this is one of the rejects um, it's very difficult to try to get the consistency where it's narrow at the top and then uh, thicker at the bottom <clears throat> and uh, tried it took me here's another one for an example and uh, took quite a bit of trial and error to figure out a good method um, basically I would start at the bottom uh, with a glue gun and then uh, work my way up to the top and uh, I found the best method was to um, get a long, you know, fairly long piece of floral wire and hold it in my hand and that way I can uh, turn it to try to get uh, glue over both sides of the wire. When I tried to uh, hang the wire from um, a clamp and just use the glue on one side not enough was getting on the other side of the wire so uh, holding it in my hand turned out to be the the best way to do it and pretty happy it, I think they're very similar to the way the uh, antenna look on the Build-A-Figure let me zoom in here so you can get a closer look but um, most of the customs that I've seen online were um, most people didn't bother trying to replicate <clears throat> the build a figure they were basically just trying to shortcut by just putting a uh, just thin wire like tw uh, twist tie wire and just gluing it onto the to the head um, which is fine I mean in most of the comics that's all it looks like is just some straight straight wires but I was really trying to emulate the build a figure as much as possible so um, I think this turned out really well uh, and it gives me the opportunity to if he if I bump him up against something you know the wire will just bend I was I knew that I could probably achieve the same effect with some sculpt but it would be very time-consuming messy and also you run the risk of uh, them breaking off you know if if I were to push this more than you know 25 percent you know it's just going to bend whereas uh, the if this was epoxy sculpt it would probably end up snapping so 
I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out and I think it's going to look great once it's all painted up. So let's go ahead and go on to the painting and I'll show you the finished product when it's all done. Finally I can show you the finished product. So here we go. It took quite a bit of finagling to figure out the precise way to do the antenna but overall pretty happy. It's not perfect but you know this is not leaving my collection anytime soon so I'm gonna be happy with the way it's turned out for my shelf. You can see the belt widened here. I'll try to get a better close-up. Just gonna do the comparison right now but I think it turned out pretty damn well with the blue and the red pretty close to matching each other and the flesh tone and the antenna both the shape and size so let me know what you guys think let's get the build a figure out of the way um, let's see I'll turn it sideways and get a look at the side view comparison and up close I think the eyes on mine are a little bit big. Don't know if there was a way that I could have uh, corrected that. I guess I could have just painted them smaller. But uh, overall, very happy with the way this guy turned out. Quite a bit of work. I didn't think it would take nearly as long as I did. I mean, I did spend a lot of time, you know, documenting the process and. You know, I'm not an expert at sculpting, so that took a while. And yeah, I just kind of paced myself. Uh, I'm not that great at painting large areas, so the. Also, I had the wrong color red, I think, so it took me a while before I was happy with the, with the red. But overall, I think the face turned out really well. Um, I think the belt turned out well, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. The flesh tone took me a while to match the flesh tone of the build a figure, um, and I wanted it smoothed out, so I ended up painting it a couple times to try to get all the uh, uneven areas worked out pretty happy with the way the eyes turned out and uh, matched the lips of the Build-A-Figure pretty close. So the antenna I kinda screwed up and had uh, the very tips of the antenna were uh, exposed wire so I didn't want that and they were a little bit sharp compared to the or pointy compared to the Build-A-Figure so I wanted them a little bit more rounded so I ended up, um, well at first I tried to use hot glue to add more um, material to the top of the antenna and that was just a disaster. I ended up being really bulbous so I had to pull the uh, hot glue off and I added Sculpt and I think it turned out pretty well. It's not as smooth as you can kind of see how it's um, a little bit ragged at the top where the uh, sculpt is attached and I tried to sand it. Problem is is that you can't really sand hot glue and um, so you're gonna have a hard time trying to get it completely smooth up with the with the hot glue so um, I just had to leave it be and just put a ton of paint on there and overall looks looks pretty good. I would have liked these uh, like to have sanded the sculpt a little bit or smoothed the sculpt as it's attached to his head a little bit better but um, not too shabby not gonna lose any sleep over it. You're um, you know when he's sitting on my shelf you're not gonna be able to really tell uh, how those antenna look. Alright with that thanks so much for watching you guys 
If you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will. Share with your friends, hit the like button, and I always love hearing back from you guys, so please leave a comment below. Alright, talk to you guys later. Crispy.